Currently, it's around 10 p.m., around something like that. And tomorrow, we've got school. It's not really something that I'm excited about, per se, but I realized uh, I really do like making videos like this because it's not something that I'm used to. I usually scream into the camera. I make some funny gestures with my hands, but this is a different kind of a video because I realized that I really do love making slash seeing videos like this. The reason why exactly I'm talking like this in this video, and it isn't specifically because it's quote unquote late, but it's really something that is interesting to me because I know a lot of people in this self-improvement community, in the just general community of people who like hearing podcasts and like hearing people talk for no reason. And I'm one of those people. I don't exactly like podcasts. I just listen to them when I'm bored or when I'm training. But my favorite type of content is just people sitting down and talking about some random topic. It may be because I'm an intellectual or whatever, but you realize that the most precious videos you watch on YouTube are not some Mr. Beast type videos where he gives a hundred million dollars to a homeless person. No, the actual important videos you need to watch and you need to be watching are those videos of people who just talk unfiltered, unedited. And that is what I want to make of my channel because unfiltered content, so raw, real talk content is what people need nowadays. Hell, a few hours ago, I had a deep conversation with my boys and we just talked nonsense for two hours. We talked in hypothetical situations, whatever. But not a lot of people have that. That's the thing. Not a lot of people can just talk to their friends about some deep, dumb topic. Not a lot of people can talk about girls and such. Occasionally, I want to make videos like this where I just give you some advice. I don't necessarily listen to podcasts because I want advice. I need it. It's just something I listen to. And these types of videos, these are my favorite, okay? I really like when a guy who's older than me, I really like videos where an older guy, so a guy in his 20s, for example, just sits down and talks to the microphone. He doesn't even have to talk to the camera. No, he just talks to his microphone. And you can put this in the background. You can just listen to my voice. So I've got a couple of thoughts on my mind that I just need to kind of talk about. And of course, some of them are going to be about relationships because that's just what a teenager thinks about most of the time. Even though I made several videos where I talked about how young men should not get into relationships, you are indefinitely missing a part of something that every single teenager does feel. As much as we want to talk about insult culture and how men are getting weaker and we're getting more lonely day by day, it is a fact that, at least in Serbia, a lot of teenagers do get into relationships. And it's not necessarily the relationship part that I crave, even though I do. This is real talk, so I'll just say the truth. I do care about relationships, though. But what I really am missing, and I think I released a video about this yesterday, what I do care about is having sex as a human being. Because even Abraham Maslow, the guy who made the Maslow hierarchy of needs, he put sex as a psychological fundamental need. And I would say it's true. NoFap isn't going so well. I mean, now, yeah, I'm on a streak, but over the past couple of months, as I'm seeing it, the reason why it's going so badly is because we, as men, we crave just freedom. And sex is just that. It is freedom from every single constraint. When you do Bastei Nut, when you're having sex, it's the release of everything. It's the release of your built-up tensions. Everything that's been stressing you the past couple of weeks, you just release it and you're fine now. 
and then the next day you feel stress again and that is why sex can be a real addiction that is absolutely true but when you're a teenager and you want to make youtube videos for a living you want this to become something serious you're going to have to suffer that is inevitable and i thought that making youtube videos was easy and i'm getting off subject now but this video has no subject this is just me talking you realize how difficult it is to manage everything you realize how difficult it is to make youtube videos whilst also studying for school and going to the gym and meditating and playing piano and journaling and reading i could go on and on one thing that's really bothering me and one thing i'm really confused about let's say is relationships it is sex but i believe as a christian man there's a reason why in the bible it says that we shouldn't have sex before marriage it's because we should be focused on our work i believe that's the right interpretation of those words but sometimes the but sometimes the need of sex the need of intimacy is just too tough man sometimes it happens to me where i'm just sitting in a chair and i'm trying to edit a video and i get this massive erection out of nowhere this may be funny to some of you but this is a real thing that happens to me and it's not just erection like oh i need sex even though that is a big part of it it's like i need intimacy dude i'm getting lonelier day by day and there might be a time in the near future where I'll just have a mental breakdown because I have not felt love from a female ever. I mean, yeah, my mother and my sister, but that's not the same. Family love isn't the same as relationship love. Of course, there's many different types of love, but what I'm trying to say here is I've never held a girl's hand. That is... The real thing this video is sounding so pessimistic and let's talk about my channel real quick as a self-improvement youtuber you don't know if you're doing anything correctly it's very rare to see a comment that says oh i've taken your advice and it has changed my life in a positive way but that is very rare yes but when you do get those comments you get a boost of motivation you feel like you're doing the right thing for the majority of the year I've been recording videos consistently for six months now and it is very difficult to do so because some days you don't feel like recording and some days you do feel like recording yeah but this is very stressful what we're doing if you are a self-improvement youtuber as well you want to become one you will have to bear through a lot of stress and i always thought that youtube was an easy job it was something that anybody could do anybody could become a youtuber right anybody could make money online well not everybody can do that because you are your own boss you set your own schedule you know what you're doing but if you're just a normal person if you're not that highly intelligent if you're a dumbass like me it's very very hard to just bear through everything and there's always the possibility and i'm not trying to focus on the negative here when i'm in this mood of negative thinking there's always that thought that comes up and that is what if this doesn't work i mean you know that saying that your first few businesses fail and that you have to fail a few times before you actually make a success of yourself i'm scared of that because I don't know what to do after this i always knew that i want to become a youtuber and it was a matter of time really i didn't know when but i did know that i would become a youtuber and i'm trying to do so i'm very very much trying and the analytics lately have been just trash i've stopped recording shorts and therefore the algorithm is a bit fucked up now but it's just so hard to believe that you cannot even become a youtuber that uploads longer form content i mean i try to upload a video that is three minutes long and people cannot get through it and i hate editing my videos that is one thing i don't like the editing process because this video for example this video will have no edits i will just cut some bits and pieces but 
this is what I like watching. And I'm not some intellectual who's enlightened and who's an elitist because I like watching unfiltered videos and unedited ones. But I know there's a lot of people that like the same type of content as me. But there's always that thought in my mind that says, but what if all of this is wasted? I have about a year and a half to make something out of YouTube because I do not want to go to college. I know in my community we're very much against college, but what if you don't succeed in your business? It's very much a negative thought, but this is a realistic thing. We can always be optimists and we can visualize our goals, but you don't know for sure, right? What if the algorithm just fucks you up? What if you get banned from YouTube because of some hate speech that you did six years ago? What if you said the N-word that one time and you get cancelled? And it's a very scary thought indeed. In business, that is considered failure. But for me, failure is not an option. That's the thing. If I don't succeed with YouTube in the next year, in the next year and a half, I'm fucked because I have to work in the near supermarket and I don't want to do a normal job. I, I do not like normal jobs. I believe I'm just naturally made to talk. I really like talking and that is one of those things that my parents would always tell me as a child. God, you just cannot stop talking and this video is a prime example of that. I'm just talking into the microphone and for you, it might be entertainment, but this is what is interesting to me. I like participating in conversations. I like talking about some weird topics, some taboo topics, if you will. What am I talking about here? I'm talking about the fact that I have to succeed. There's no alternative. There's no plan B for me. I believe that plan B is for losers. It's not for winners. Why would you have a plan B when you know the plan A is going to be successful? And I truly do know it. I know I'm going to be a success. I know that even if YouTube fails, there's going to be something else that I come up with that's going to succeed in the long term. And I want to talk about TikTok real quick because TikTok is very dangerous. I do not like TikTok anymore. I have realized what TikTok does to you as a human being. It turns you into a robot. It turns you into a zombie. And there are these girls in my class who watched my TikTok and they said something along the lines of this is so cringe. Why are you doing this? But I don't have any other alternative. That is what I said to them. And I don't want to go to college. That's another reason as well. But what I mean is you're going to get hate eventually and you have to be mentally healthy if you want to deal with those hate comments because I get those on a daily. I've made a shorts channel and today I uploaded a video where I spoke about the fact that if you're a video gamer, you are a loser. That is an axiom. It's something that is undisputable. A lot of people hate me for that statement because they're coping. And you'll notice a pattern with these haters and that is they always have either anime profile pictures or they just have no profile picture at all. These are empty shells. I used to be one. I used to just play video games, do as I was told and just live like I'm not even living. But you realize eventually that everything you knew was not correct. And it's going to happen with me probably in five years. Everything that I think now is a fact turns out to be some dumb shit I thought five years ago. That's probably going to happen. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm really scared of a relationship. Not because you have to go out and you have to approach women. That is tough, yes. It is difficult, we'll say. But the fact that what if I fall in love so deeply and I believe that's going to happen eventually and I just lose my drive, I stop going to the gym, I stop meditating, I stop uploading videos. That is the reason why I and why you should not get into a relationship. Because this is what my sister said, when you're a teenager and you're so sensitive to everything, even love is magnified. The first time you fall in love, it's going to be when you're in your teens, maybe late teens, maybe early 20s, but you're going to do it and that's going to limit you in a way. 
that is why I don't believe young men should get into relationships. And I've spoken about this with my friends and every single one of them agrees with me. But it's just you cannot control yourself when you're in love. I don't want to say I don't want to interact with women, but it's true. It is true. You have to essentially stay away from them. It's like the thing first man said, ignore women for a long time, three to five years, because in those three to five years, you are going to make a lot of progress. And there's, of course, the phenomenon called breakup gains, where you become more productive after your breakup. You get more gains in the gym. But I think I've told enough about relationships and one last thing for my YouTubers and for those TikTok creators. You have to learn how to deal with hate and you have to be controversial. Not to the point where you get banned from the platform, but you have to be polarizing. That short I spoke about, I have 37 likes and around 30 dislikes. That is polarizing. So there are people who agree with me extremely and there are people who just do not even agree with me. And those are the haters. So I believe you have to become mentally healthy in order to learn how to deal with that hate because hate is going to come. Even if you make videos about cars, something that almost everybody likes, there's always going to be that asshole in the comments who calls you ugly or who says that your hairline is receding. But even if everything fails, even if all of this crumbles, when my paradise slowly crumbles into hell, at least I've had a good experience here on YouTube. I've met good people here. I've seen that I do have an influence at least. I did gain a skill in public speaking, so I can do that anytime I want. I can be the modern version of Socrates, but that is just too much, if you ask me. I'm still a YouTuber though, and hopefully this video helped you. I might upload another one after this, because when I really do think about it, making videos like this where I just talk into the microphone is much easier. There's a lot less editing and I just can speak like a normal human being. I don't have to shout into the camera and be all like, oh, what's up guys? Make sure to smash that like button. I hate that shit. I hate saying smash that subscribe button. And for those of you who watch this video till the end, I'm grateful for you because you're what keeps me alive. Let's just say that. See you tomorrow, bro.